man. For the happy heck of it, <coughs> I'm following this little vernacular trail. Simply because it fused closer to the stream. Ooh, there's an interesting rotten thing. Yeah. There's another bridge. Oh, it's a little footbridge. Nice. I see it to allow cars into that area. And <laughs> see now I'm below this thing. There's a third tier of trail sort of closer to the river. I wonder, this would have been sort of a potential towpath for a mule or something. So there's quite a lot of variant, variation right here in the simple buffer strip that we find. of play going on. There's a huge oak. I look up river. I we follow this thing to our meeting with the cool bridge. Ripening crab apples. So we have a charming little bridge over this widened section. sidewalky thing looking at yet another majestic oak they're just everywhere damn it <laughs> It's probably an ice cream truck playing some kind of southern thing. I probably don't know what part of the country the tune belongs to. Oh, there it is. <laughs> ah. 
Yeah, this looks like downtown Winchester beckoning. This is a USGS stream gauging station collecting water flow data. And look at how straight it runs here. You can see this really was a canal. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> in the U.S. we just let these things go to seed. But in the EU they're considered to be premium, wonderful little tourist attractions. You get a canal boat trip. People love that stuff. Yeah, they were serious about this thing. Look at all the rock cribbing that they put in. You can really see the intent. Otherwise, this side is just a grim run along some god-awful pavement and utter lack of shade. And up there goes the ice cream peddler. Confident of having made more sales. So I'll just follow this thing for a ways. No need to share the street side of it with you. It pretty much looks like this. But once we're in Winchester Center, I'll see what we have.